Hello everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by again today. I'm so grateful that you're here. Today I want to share with you guys the nail polishes that I wore last month. So that would be, um, it's still this month. It would be the month of October. Today I'm filming and it's October 29th, but I wanted to go ahead and get this film so I could post it uh, and share with you guys the nail polishes that I wore during the month of, November, of October. Uh, I don't know if I'll be including the very last manicure I'll probably put on because I'm pretty sure that this, since it's the 29th, I'll probably put something else on on the 31st. But what I'll do is I'll include that last manicure in next month's roundup, which would be November's roundup. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I know guys, I am so grateful for Instagram because Instagram has become my spreadsheet of nail polishes. That way I know the ones that I've worn and what I wore this time last year. It was just, it's just become the way that I kind of keep track of all my nail polishes. So I'm going to be looking at my phone to see which one I posted the 1st of October. And actually the first one that I posted, and actually the first manicure I posted are these two babies. <laughs> and it would be Le Chat's, um Felicity, this one, Le Chat. And then one of my favorites for fall, OPI's Orange You Fantastic. Um, these two are what I would consider spicy, pumpkin, gingery, wonderful polishes. I love this one, the Lashat one. It's such a good formula. I only own two Lashats and I actually found this brand through um, Miss Holly Berry's. I enjoy her channel and I watch her. Uh, she just had a baby, so congratulations. And so I found it on, I think it's Head to Toe's website and they were so affordable and I picked up this one and a more um, mustard colored one. But anyways, this is the only one I've wore so far from that collection, from the, the two that I bought. And then um, I also got this one that I have this OPI Orange You Fantastic. And I bought this, I don't know, maybe two years ago. Maybe it was three. I don't know. But this is a bunch of wonderful glitter, glittery goodness. It's got hexagon glitters, which are like the more orange ones. And then it's got these little round micro glitters. I don't know if it'll come through on the image there. But it's got these little round silver and gold um, glitters. And then it's also got like some ready orange small glitters. And then the base itself is almost like a golden shade and so when you put it on it's just oh it's like fall on your fingernails and this one is just um again you know <laughs> the colors that i've been gravitating towards it's very much a dusty uh gingery spicy um peach tone i would say you know a peachy terracotta tone nail polish so pretty beautiful cream formula anyways on that day i wore them as a combo and i'll i'll, I'll make sure to put a picture up so you guys can see it there you go that's felicity by um la shot um in the picture you'll be able to see how nice they pair together i'm just really i was really happy with this manicure and um, I, I, I'm excited to try more from this particular line. It's got a really nice brush. It's not quite as wide as, let's say, the KL polish ones or um, the H&M ones, but it's wide enough and it just applies really smoothly and easily. I believe this was a two coat um, nail polish, so you, it wasn't a one coater. Neither of those is a one coater. As a matter of fact, you can build this one up to like almost opacity, but it's gonna take you three to four coats because it, it is a quite a chunky glitter and then you're gonna have a bear of a time getting it off. But as a topper, just beautiful, I love it. The next one, I, the next polish I wore in October was this one, it's by Color Club and it is in the color Queen of Speed. Did I put that up right? And it's in the color Queen of Speed. Um, it's just a classic red. It's got a little bit of a blue base to it. Um, so it's not an orangey red by any means. And it applied very well. I think I did two coats of this one. On the day that I wore this, I, my friend Julie was commenting on how she just, you know, never wears her reds and she owns so many reds. And I own a lot of reds and I never wear any reds. And so on that day, we did honor to red and we both wore red polishes. I really like this one. Um, I'll wear it again. It's just I have to go through several other reds polishes. It's I really did enjoy this formula. I like Color Club. They have a really nice brush. Again, it's very similar to the Lashat brush, not quite as big as the KL polish brush, but yet still thicker than let's say the traditional SE brush. 
Um, the next manicure I wore was this one from Femme Fatale and it's an Agrabah and I have talked so much about this polish because I just loved it. I love it so much and I still love it. I think it's just so different. When you look at it in the bottle and I'll see if I can't get it to, you know, as you shift it down, you can see that it's in almost, I would say a crelly kind of a base. So it's thinner than your traditional cream polishes. But anyways, uh, let me open it up so you can see it on the inside. And let me see if it'll, can you guys see the glitter, the shards in there? They're not large shards and they're opalescent. And in that opalescence, they go from orange to green to yellow um, to like a purple. Uh, there's that kind of a shift in that opalescent shard. It's even got a bit of a red when you turn it a certain way. Not like a true red, more like an orangey red. Oh, it's so pretty. The, the polish itself, it's got a bit of a mauve -y, um kind of salmon, like a, between a mauve and a salmon. Oh, it's so beautiful. Pumpkin spicy, just full of goodness. I really ha did enjoy wearing this one. The formula wore very well. It didn't chip early or anything like that, where there's going to be a, uh, there's one in here that chipped really badly. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. And after I wore the Femme Fatale, I pulled out my KB Shimmer in, K in Pun Kin Spice Latte. <laughs> I say it like that because if not, I kind of eat up the words because I tend to talk very fast. I think that that KB Shimmer describes it as a muted pumpkin terracotta shade, which a lot of these polishes I'm sharing with you guys today. There you go. You see it right there. It's got a bit, a bit of a thicker formula and inside of it, there's a bit of a gold shimmer that runs through it. When you wear it on your nail, it's not quite as noticeable as it is in the bottle. So let me see if you guys can see that in the bottle. But it's still such a beautiful polish. Orange is just having a moment with me. Let me just tell you guys that. I'm just enjoying these muted, almost dusty terracotta shades so very much. Anyways, it was a really good formula. It wore, I think, like for three days. And it didn't chip or anything like that. But I'm just so happy with it. I love that particular polish. I got it last year and, I, and last fall. But I got it so late that it was like early November when I got it. And I never got around to wearing it. It. And so when it, um, fall came around, I wanted to make sure that that was one of the first ones I wore. The next polish I wore was um, Essie's Fall for NYC, and it's part of their uh, it's part of the ready to wear line they uh, had out this fall. I think Essie says that it's a yellow mustard with a marigold tone to it. And I think that the marigold part is just the most accurate way to describe it. I used to have up here some sunflowers and when I put it up next to it, it was just very close to that yellow sunflower flowery kind of yellow when it's turning almost orange, that marigold yellow to orange shade. It's really, really pretty. Um, it wore fairly well. I think this one chipped on the second day. And this is the new brush, which by the way, oh, I love it. I think it was a two coat polish. Um, I don't have any complaints because if I can get two days and the nails look nice, to me that's okay. I change my nails like every three days so I don't really notice it. However, if you're thinking you're gonna wear this for a whole week, um, I don't know, I use the Glisten and Glow top coat. That's the one I'm working through right now. And um, it didn't last that as long on me. However, for me, two days is fine. I don't, I, I'm realistic about how long nail polishes last on me. And I realized that for me, a two day polish is good. Um, if I get to the three day, it's even better. And then after um, fall for NYC, I pulled out my KL polish and this one's from her fall line and it's Isma and there you go and I'll let me put it up so you guys can see Isma guys Isma <laughs> I said it in my um top fall polishes this one's one of them oof so pretty it's a blackened um purple with a bit of a shift and let me see if I can get that shift to show up in camera Sometimes it doesn't cooperate with you, but in either case, the brush is perfection. The formula is great. This one is a one coater. It didn't chip. It held up. I think this one I wore for three days. Um, I, I like this polish. I like this polish a lot. If you were to say to me, which ones were your outstanding polishes from what you wore last month in October, I would say this one, 
the femme fatale one and then there's one more and it's coming up and i'll share it in a second but they are just so good both of these were so good the purple in this um i'm not someone who enjoys a purple polish i don't wear very often purple um and um this one this one got me so i really like it it's very vampy it looks it makes your nails look nice on the day that i wore them my nails were kind of short and so um uh yeah, it worked really well with short nails. So I was just really happy with that one combo. And then I went back to my combo and one of my first attempts at stamping. Now, I don't want to say it's my first attempt at stamping when you see the picture because I, uh, I bought a stamping kit, I don't know, in one of these outlet malls here in Florida. I would say about my daughter must have been like 12. Um, so she's 20 about eight years ago and I failed back then. And then about two years ago, I bought another set at Five Below and boy, I failed at that. So I got rid of it then. And then um, recently I've seen so many pretty uh, stampings on my friends on Instagram's pictures. And I was like, I want to try. And this was my first attempt after I think two years. And it wasn't terrible. Like if you looked at it from far away, it looked actually kind of nice and presentable. But when you got it up close, oh, it was a hot mess. <laughs> Anyways, um, the combo that I wore with that hot mess was um, OPIs and Squeaker of the House. This was from the um, the White House collection. Was that what it was called? The Washington DC collection. I think that one came out two years ago. And then I wore the Sally Hansen and the color slime scene. And I got this this year from Target. Um, and I just, I think that's just such a neat, um, like pear green. It is so pretty. It looks like slime, like the slimes that kid that they used to have. I forget what the name of that show, Double Dare. The, the show Double Dare, remember they used to have slime on that? Um, this looks like the color of the slime they used to use. But in, other, in any case, that's neither here or there. Both of these polishes had excellent formulas. Um, this is definitely a two coat polish. Um, that first one's going to go on a little streaky, but um, it builds up very well. Uh, and it on mine, it with the first couple of applications were kind of watery, but then it seemed to almost like level out. So yeah, I, it was good. I really do like this tone of brown. It's more of a neutral brown, almost like a gray brown, maybe even cool tone brown. It's not a warm brown, and I love that one. Um, and then this green, look at this inside the brush, the Sally Hansen brush, which again I love. Um, not everybody loves that kind of a brush, but I do. It's got that nice green. It's not a neon. It's definitely a pear, um, almost like a, a muted, slimy green, uh, like a Monster Mash kind of green. And I just, I thought it was so nice and I liked it. And I will definitely get more wear out of that one. Um, and then the next polish I wore was this one by Glitter Days. And this is in the color Foxy. And this is one of the last polishes that I've worn. And I really like this one. Um, I like the color of it, but it is very, very similar. If you look at my, and I'll put pictures up so you guys can compare it. But if you look at it side by side to fall, um, for, I'm what fall for NYC. Uh, it almost looks like this might be a bit brighter and that this one here is a little bit more dusty. And that's about the difference. This one's just a slightly bit more earthy, but if you have this one, it's really close to this one. So you don't have to go out and buy it again. It is a nice, uh, I like the color. I loved it very much, um, but, and the brush is wonderful. Um, I have two Glitter Days polish. I have this one and I have the one in mellow. And I love the colors, but I have a problem. These tend to uh, chip on me very quickly. Um, I wore it one day and it was chipped. I don't know if it's that my top coat is getting old, so I don't want to say that it's the this particular brand, but I was a little frustrated because, you know, you go through the trouble of painting your nails and you want them to last at least two days. At least I do. And this one chips so easily and so did Mellow. So I would say wear it with a top coat that you know lasts on you. And then I wore my candy lacquer in the color Peanut Butter Girl. And this one is very similar in that base tone to the Agrabah, if you, you guys can tell, I don't know, side by side. And what I'll do is I'll put the pictures up there so that you guys can see in comparison. But let me pull it out so you guys can see it. You see, it's, it's again, it's a very pumpkin spice kind of peanut butter shade, but it's got pink shimmers that run throughout it. And it's also got like gold shimmers that run throughout it. And they make the shift inside of it um, just like a, a beautiful, dusty, mauve -y 
peanut butter. It's the best way to describe it because it's got that pink in it, so it takes that turn. I, I like this particular polish quite a bit. Uh, it's the I have like two by Candy Lacquer, and I think that the formula is good. It's very thick, and it can be opaque almost in one coat. If you are someone who does a nice thick coat, then you could get it opaque in one. Now, if you do the very thin coats, then you'll need the two coats. Me, I always do two coats no matter what, unless I see that a particular polish definitely needs that third coat. And lastly, let's talk about what's on my nails right now. Um, and it's H&M's uh, Brickwork. I got this when I went to New York this summer, and I, like I've said before, I really enjoy H&M's nail polishes. They don't bring as much in the bottle as, let's say, the Sally Hansen one. Sally Hansen has um, 0.5 fluid ounces or 14.7 mil, uh, and the H&M is 0.27 and 8 mil. So this is more comparable to the size of, let's say, your Julep polishes. But you know what, guys? I don't ever go through a whole polish, so to me it's not a big deal. On the day that I went to the H&M, they had all their polishes. I think they were on sale. If it wasn't for $2, it was $3. I picked up, I think, like 10 because I was like, I will never get these. We can't, I can't get them in Florida. They don't ship here. But oh, look at this. Isn't this pretty? If you're able to get a hold of some of the H&M polishes, I highly suggest that you get them. The brush, again, it's nice and wide. It's like that little paddle shape. Um, the application of it is very smooth. I'm currently wearing uh, two coats of it. And again, I have the Glisten and Glow Um top uh top coat on it i i really do enjoy these h&m polishes so guys those are all the polishes i wore this month thank you so much for stopping by and visiting and thank you so much for watching the video <laughs> i i hope you guys will come back and guys i hope you guys have a great day and guys be blessed bye